guys, today I'm showing you how to jailbreak the Appa Touch 2G 2.2.1. As you can see, mine is already jailbroken. It's city right there. Can break this down. But what I will do is re jailbreak it for you guys. This jailbreak does not require a restore. Um, it just needs. You just need this file. I will have a Mac link and a Windows link for you guys in the description. First, you need to download it and then go to the file. It's gonna be called Red Snow. It's a zero, and you're gonna. It's gonna be like this. First thing you want to do is put your upper touch into DFE mode. If you don't know how to do this, I will show you in this video and there's other videos if you don't understand. And you do need firmware 2.2.1 for this. So what you need to do is take your iPod touch and you are going to hold down the home button and the sleep away button for 10 seconds. And then you're going to let go of the home button. I mean, let go of the sleep button and still hold the home button until you hear the da -da sound on your computer. So, here it goes. One. Oh, sorry, I got can do it with one here. Okay, I'm gonna put the camera down for a second and show you. It's my Apple Touch first thing. Let's hold it down for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let go of the home button on the sleep button. Once you hear that, you let go. And to make sure that it's in DFE mode, you want to open up iTunes. Make sure it pops up as iTunes has detected an iPod in recovery mode. You must restore this iPod before it can be used with iTunes. Hit OK and X out iTunes. Yeah. Once you are done with that, you need to go into the red snow folder and you are going to double click on the red snow batch file. So you go ahead and your iPod will blink a couple times. And what's cool about this uh, jailbreak is that it downloads everything for you. See, it says done, done, 100%, 99%. And that's really cool about that. So, it blink a couple times, it'll go. Alright, now once it's done, this thing will pop up on your upper touch screen. And it's just downloading stuff right now. And this is way normal. If your DF humo is not successful, try watching other videos to cancel out what you did. And um try again. And to know that DF is successful, when you open up the batch file, it says DF humo is successful. Okay, so once the batch file cancels out, it'll show this on your average screen and you just gotta wait a few minutes.
a while, guys. Well, since it's taking a little long, I'll come back to you when it's done. Okay, guys, now it's starting the jailbreak. Um, it'll go through this little boy right here. And once it's done, it will reboot. And it will turn off with that, and it will reboot like this. And it won't. It, if it takes more than two hours to reboot, then that is normal for some people. But if it takes over a day or two, then I would say to redo the jailbreak or something and restore your iPod. That's just. But it usually takes no much more than an hour or so. So yeah. I'll just come back to you when it's done rebooting. Okay guys, mine is done rebooting. It only took about three minutes after I cut off on y'all. So here it is. Here's Cydia. And as you can see, none of my music. Deleted or my photos or nothing, my videos. So this is the best jailbreak out that I think, but if you want to restore your iPod so it will go faster, I guess, then you do so. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and give all the credit to Will DTA, because I took his links. <laughs> well, thanks for watching.